All right, y'all, I have about uh, about two cups of fresh strawberries. I took the tops off, all right? So now we're taking our meat masher. Yes, it's working. And we're gonna mash these up, all right? So uh, this thing is supposed to be for ground beef, but guess what, y'all? I use it for all kinds of stuff. I use it for when I make egg salad. And now I'm using it to mash strawberries. I've even used it to mash up Ritz crackers before. So we're just gonna um, cut these up real good. So I suppose if y'all want, you can do this ahead of time and then pour it in, but this is the way I like to do it. So this is the way we're doing it. All right, y'all? You do what makes you happy, I'll do what makes me happy, and we can still be friends. Ain't that crazy, y'all? Isn't that crazy? Kevin agrees with me, he told me. I could hear him. He, I hear him talking to me sometimes. <laughs> I feel like, do y'all have cats? Do you feel like they like look into your soul? Maybe dogs too, I don't know. Like when they give you that deep stare right into your eyes and they can see you for who you are. Y'all know what I mean? Is that crazy or do y'all understand? Tell me. All right, so uh, we're just gonna mash these a little more. I'm like, my arm's tired, but I want them a little more mashed. But I think, okay, I think that's good. That's perfect. All right, y'all. So now here, I have a one six ounce box of strawberry jello, and I did grease the bottom of my pan, okay? So either two of the small boxes or one of the big ones, and we're using this whole packet right on top of our strawberries, all right? So six ounces of strawberry jello right on top of our fresh strawberries. All right, y'all, next here, we have some mini marshmallows, all right? So we're doing a layer on top. I would say about two cups, but I'm gonna eyeball it. Let's see. All right, I feel like that's good. That's about, is that about two cups, y'all? What do y'all think, am I right or no? Maybe I should do a test one day, see if I'm like close or not. All right, so we're gonna move this to the side. In our bowl, we add in three eggs. Three eggs. One, two, three. All right, three eggs. Uh, we add in one cup of water, and then we also gonna add half cup of applesauce, all right? I like using applesauce instead of oil, just because. All right, now y'all, guess what? My new favorite tool, my kitchen whisk, whiskey, whiskey. All right, I already said that earlier. Oh yeah, but that was a different video, so that's all right. Won't be the same day, y'all, all right. All right, so we're just gonna give that a little mix. Perfect, and when it's good, that looks great. Now we have a uh, one box of strawberry cake mix. So I basically followed the directions on the cake mix, and, except I used uh, applesauce instead of oil, all right? I'm gonna dump that on in. And then we're just gonna give this a little mix. And y'all, again, I love my kitchen whisk. I feel like, I feel like it, I don't know. I feel like I should get a better one because this plastic one's kind of flimsy, but I just bought it because it came in a set of three and they were pretty colors, but it's kind of flimsy. But anyways, uh, it works better than a fork sometimes, I ain't gonna lie. All right, so once that's nice, look, it's like moving all over. Come on, I don't like that, it's kind of annoying. All right, so once that's good and mixed, I'm gonna move my whisk to the side. This strawberry cake smells so good. It's like, it smells like strawberries. I mean, I guess it should. All right, y'all, now we're moving this back. We're taking our strawberry cake mix, and we're just pouring it right on top. All right. We're gonna use our little tiny orange spatula. I should have got a bigger one, sheesh. Some of these kitchen tools, y'all, you know, they're like, I don't know, so small. Why, why, why is it so small? I need to get some bigger stuff. I don't cook anything small. All right, so we're gonna do our best to get that all out, that's good enough. All right, I'm gonna give this a little shake. Shake, shake, shake. I'm trying to get it to even out, but. All right, that's good, y'all, all right. We're putting this in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes, and this is gonna be a delicious strawberry upside down cake. I can't wait to show y'all how it turns out. All right, y'all, here we have this strawberry upside down cake. Um, so actually before, I'm, I'm gonna pick this up so y'all can see a little bit. I don't know, can you see those layers, Bridgie? Mm -hmm. It looks good, y'all, so we gonna see. Remember, we had some fresh strawberries. We poured the jello on top, some marshmallows, and um, cake mix, strawberry cake mix. So. We're gonna cut a piece and see uh, if it turned out, if we got the upside down thing we was hoping for. All right, I think I like that slice, but maybe I should, I'm gonna cut another one just in case. All right, just like that. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try and get one of these out. Yep, okay. We're gonna do it weird, we're gonna do it like this. 
All right, so this is supposed to be a strawberry upside down cake. I just ruined this piece, but that's all right. But as long as it tastes good, I'm gonna be happy. Okay, well, that don't look too pretty, but let's see if I can get a prettier piece. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, the strawberries, some of them uh, got a little, a little caramelized and stuff. Okay. All right, y'all, look. We're going to fix that. Look how pretty it looks now. Hold on. I got this big old dessert. We put some Cool Whip on top. Um, it looks pretty here, though, right, Bridgie? Yeah. It looks good there. All right. So, y'all, the true test. Y'all, okay. First of all, look how big of a piece I just gave myself. <laughs> I'm, I, I don't know, y'all. I guess I'm hungry for dessert today. Uh, the true test is the taste. So, let's see how it turned out. Um, fresh strawberries, jello. Yeah, I already told y'all y'all it was in here. So let's let's try it. It's still hot. I took this out of the oven a while ago too. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, y'all. This is so good. This is a winner. Oh my goodness. Y'all, this is better than I thought. Wow, y'all have to try this. It's perfect for summer.